Natasha. Debbie. Show. The show. <laughs> Welcome to it. <laughs> Just two patriotic girls. Learning about the world. So please, don't take us the wrong way. Hey, Debbie. Yes? Why don't kittens like going to the mall? I don't know. They prefer a catalog. <laughs> nice. She has dad jokes for us. Thanks. It was good to it was good to be part of YouTube and in your lives. Appreciate it. And uh, I'll see myself out. Bye bye. <laughs> Our stand up comedian job is done. Am I allowed to come back? You are. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the show. Glad to have you here today um, in sunny Ohio. I got to stop pointing at body parts. Yeah, you do. <laughs> it's just um, <laughs> not quite appropriate. Take over there, Debs. <laughs> if you like what we do here on YouTube, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. But before you subscribe... Oh God, don't do this to me. Something you say about... Yeah, go back and check the other stuff out first and make sure you want to. There you go. Good job. I, I throw me off. <laughs> I know. It's hard when we switch roles. Well, you're doing it to me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so today we're going to look at something um, that I had seen a headline about this a few months ago, but I didn't know what I was reading. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I'm just being honest. Mm. Um, it's um, Battersea Power Station. Um, and apparently it was I, I, it's a power station in Battersea. <laughs> and uh, it was turned into a shopping mall recently. So shopping. I guess it just opened a few months ago. Um, that's all I know. Um, and I guess it's a luxury mall now. Ooh. So, um, which is interesting because here in the States, malls are dying, guys. They have been the past few years. They're really going down. Uh -huh. Big time. So they're they're turning those into other things or just getting rid of them all together. But mm -hmm. um, curious to see about this one. Uh, no idea anything about the the... Well, anything. <laughs> nope. Other than it's a shopping mall and it's supposed to be it's yeah, luxury, to be luxury shopping mall that was originally a power station, which is an interesting thought. Um, I think we would do the opposite at this point with our malls turning to a power right? station. <laughs> but um, that's what we're going to check out today. Um, so it's a Battersea Power Station that is now a luxury shopping mall. And let us know if you've been, if you plan on going, if it's something mm -hmm. that everyone is rushing to. Um, we're going to find out more. Starting now. Hey everyone, welcome back. So behind me is Battersea Power Station, Huge. or what used to be Battersea oh. Power Station. It's now something completely different. In fact, if you look at that second chimney, that is also an attraction now. What? I'm oh, about wow. to visit Europe's new top shopping destination. So obviously I'm not a big fan of shopping myself, but I know someone who is. I don't like it either. That's me. Because I thought I can't come to one of Europe's new biggest shopping destinations without bringing Gabby. This whole area has been transformed. Battersea wasn't the best area back in the day this whole project cost over nine billion should we go and check it out let's check it out what did he say nine billion dollars it was on the screen but i don't think my eyes saw that no the whole project cost over nine billion holy wow. crap nine billion dollars <laughs> that's a whole lot of money that was american for what in the crap <laughs> This place looks huge. I can't. I, it is huge. Sorry. Can't wait to see the inside. I know. I'm screaming that. <laughs> Nine billion wow. dollars. Is it made of gold? Right. <laughs> or are the toilets made of gold? Well, it looks like some huge building. So there has to be like a lot of renovations that had to been done. So. And toilet paper made of gold leaf. <laughs> Sorry. Nine billion dollars. Okay. Now we know what we're working with here. This isn't mm -hmm. just a shopping center. This is like. A big, big, big thing. And he said Europe. So yeah, this is... Yes. Holy crap. We weren't prepared for this one. Okay. I'm intrigued. Let's go in. Mm-hmm. Should we go and check it out? Let's check it out. I can't wait. So the entrance we're taking... Well, I've kind of got to figure out how I get over there. This is Chelsea Bridge. Gabby's never been to Chelsea before. We just walked through Chelsea. Either. What did you think? I thought it was really beautiful. I can't believe I've seen the streets there, actually. So that tower there, you can see something's popped out of it. And I thought I was seeing things at first, but I've decided to book. Tell you how much that's going to be later. It might surprise you, actually. So we need to head down there. I'm so perplexed. So I thought it'd be a nice route <laughs> in as we walk by the Thames. And here's an interesting fact. 
But actually, power station used to keep all these houses, or what used to be houses and apartments, over the other side of the bridge warm back in the 80s. It was Prince Philip's least favourite place. And the cats, for some odd reason, used to love the power station. So all this accommodation is new. Wow, that's cool. See the top of the chimney just poking out just there. Is that like modern architecture with the mix that we like? This is when it actually opened on the 14th of October. Okay. Place to shop, live and eat. Would you live here? Yeah, I like it actually. Yeah. If I was to live anywhere in London, it'd be somewhere You can say that? There's loads oh, of yeah. restaurants, That's cafes cool. along here. All this area's been done. It looks really pretty actually, doesn't it? With the London Eye Line in the background. Now the point of filming this is in December. Okay. So they're getting ready for Christmas. Back. So you'll see lots of Christmas decorations and stuff. But this area used to be pretty much like a bit of a wasteland. Really? It seems so striking as you walk it's up to it, isn't it? Some huge Christmas ball balls. There's some big balls. UK. <laughs> they were. They were some big balls. So there's the power station suites that are for sale. Um, costing probably around a few hundred thousand, maybe up to a million for a penthouse. Here what? Right. <laughs> yeah, wow. Would you want to live next to a shopping center though and, and pay that kind of price? No, I wouldn't. You would. Yeah, you would. Debbie yes, likes I that would. stuff. I would. Yeah, you would. That's true. Can go down, walk over and go shopping. Station. Sorry. Here's the map. <laughs> this is so weird to see this. Look, you are here, the entrance to the power station. Obviously, we're going to go and see what it looks like inside because it looks pretty special. And it's nice that they've got some restaurants and other things going on outside. And because it's Christmas, they have an ice skating rink. Very cool. And a little pop-up bar. Look, that's real. Usually ice is, sorry. <laughs> this ice skating rink is pretty big actually. Look at that with the tree in the middle. That is absolutely amazing. In the shadow of the power station. Wow. Jeez, that thing is monstrous. I've made a reservation to go into lift 109, which is that thing there where you actually go up into one of the old I guess cooling towers, steam towers. Mm -hmm. So before we actually head into Battersea Power Station itself, I'm gonna head up there. So it'll be interesting to see when Christmas finishes what they'll have here afterwards. But there's a little bit of a, a vintage fun fair going on and a little mini big wheel as well. Wow. I couldn't get on that little mini one. <laughs> okay, let's head in. The first thing that is quite interesting is they don't have any signage yeah. on the front mm -hmm. whatsoever that's true yeah i know and what looks like a royal balcony at the top yeah. you would not think this is going to have anything to do with shopping as you're approaching it. barely here no. but... can we go for the main doors like the big center doors because everyone's just going around the edges at the moment because they're open be a bit more of a grand uh, entrance if we can will it open for us or are these not open this is weird. no huh. that's <laughs> why they're going okay yes they're not working Wow, I mean, look at that. A lot Whoa. of the brickwork, as you can see over there, is exposed, but- I like that they're showing the Amazing. Wow. Power station. Again, it doesn't feel like a shopping center, but you can see the shops. They're all embedded in the side almost. I was gonna say for a second, is there carpet? There isn't carpet. See all the original brickwork cool. going up? I love it. And I think what probably was stairs back yeah, in the day. Yeah, that's so Where cool. the original windows were, they've replaced with obviously New windows. I like that. So we're gonna go and have a look around because there's some very interesting places to go and check out, like Turbine Hall B and Turbine Hall A, and also see what shops are in here. Before we do any of that, it's time to go up here. That's where I'm going. I don't wanna go up there. It's hot, that's high off the ground. Let's go. Okay, thank you. So that's what it looks like coming well, out of the top of the tower. observation deck? I thought Seems I was on right? level one. This does say level one. I'm just confused to where I go. Oh, hang on a second. There's a sign right there. So we had a pay to the fully in? restored northwest chimney houses <coughs> a lift that takes you up to 109 meters above London. Look at that, all the old girls. Wow, that's oh, cool. And pulleys that used to be here from the old power station. Oh, this is awesome. Absolutely incredible. Hard to believe this has only been open now for just two months. That's okay, let's talk about price. If you book ahead, it costs you £15. If you want to book on the day and you're lazy like me and you didn't realise that the lift was here, it will cost you £23. Wow. So I advise booking ahead. 
So you go through a little bit of history about Battersea Power Station. Huh. And everyone's waiting. That's really I'm cool. And that says group two. So that's group one. Hard to believe what used to be in this very hall. That massive turbine. Did you know it's also been used for loads of different movies and TV shows when it was left disused? Oh, crap. Oh, wow. Until what it looks like now. It's talking about the cats that made the power station their home. Really? I mean, I know it's just a lift, but Where are they now? it's been turned into a bit of a tourist attraction where you can get your photo taken. This is so cool. It's, it's almost like a museum. You know what it's making me think in of? In history, and then you also have the shopping. What is that making you think of the same thing it's making me think of? Um, Come on. Union Terminal? Yes. Okay. Cincinnati Museum Center, mm -hmm. um, which used to be Union Terminal here. Um, if you guys like comic books and stuff like that, you're probably more D uh, like Marvel fans if you do, mm -hmm. but DC Comics. Um, the Justice League Hall of Justice is modeled after our Union Terminal, which is now Cincinnati Museum Center. Uh -huh. And um, it, you know, again, was where all the trains and stuff came back in the 30s. Yeah. It used to be 40s. a train station. And then it, back in the early, late 80s, early 90s, they converted it to this incredible museum. Mm -hmm. And they did keep a lot of the same stuff. It's absolutely stunning and beautiful. Yes. Um, but yeah, it's reminding me of that. But it's not a shopping center. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm loving this. This is so cool. This so is awesome. Cool. So the countdown has begun until I'm heading up. Five minutes and 32 seconds. How long do you get up there? The tension is mounting. Like you get to be up there. I was actually taking yeah. photos of the countdown. Oh, that's kind of interesting. I believe this door will open. It should do. Oh, here you go. Eee, eee. There it does. Oh. oh, that opened. Whoa, whoa. Okay, that's cool. That is cool. <laughs> that is really cool. I'll take it, these are the lifts. One of these is the lift. So, you're about to go through a journey showing you how power is created in a power station. So you're aware, this wall over here, this wall behind you, and this wall over here are all interactive. So feel free to get nice and close to them, move around, and the walls will react to you. But apart from that, enjoy the show. What? Whoa. Okay, this is awesome. That would give me vertigo. That's so cool. This broke the space time continuum. <gasps> this is so awesome. Tetris. I feel like I'm there. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Wow. That's cool. Okay, it gets cooler. How's this possible? Between these two lids here, they'll take you up to the onboarding level. That was so neat. The question is, do we actually have to press it ourselves? <laughs> you guys, this is amazing. <laughs> this is an experience just watching this video. It is. Um, wow. I had no idea um, I didn't. the shopping mall was going to have so much to it. I didn't know we were going to be seeing anything like I this. I know. Um, <laughs> wow. You never um, know what you're going to learn here, No, right? you really don't. Mm -hmm. Um, this is nuts. Let's keep going. It's one dark <laughs> elevator, though. Oh, cool, really. Uh, above you here, you'll be able to see the northwest chimney. Um, so you have to take photos. Quite a good opportunity for you to do so. Uh, You're all with them. 36 steps. Uh, you've got a couple of minutes till the lift comes down, so there's no rush to get to the top of the step. <laughs> this is cool. This is cool. Ooh. I love industrial th buildings and things anyway. Yeah. So obviously it's not a lift all the way up. You've got to take the steps. So we've walked up some steps. Now we wait for the 
That kind of freaked me out. <laughs> <laughs> How cool is that? A little freaky, but oh, it's wow. cool. That's awesome. That's crazy yeah. cool. Look at that. Wow. This is awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I was just going to say, my inner Star Wars <laughs> nerd is popping out here. This is so weird. Cloud City. Y'all with me? Star Wars fans? Yeah. Now Where's they're the traveling City? through time. This is so freaking awesome. We're going here. We're going here. We're going oh, here. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. wow. Shut the front door, dude. <laughs> Whoa. So that whole th okay. So now I get it. That whole thing that you're seeing from the outside yeah. comes from the gr from the whole elevator pops out. <laughs> Getting Willy that Wonka vibes too here. I know. <laughs> this is wow. fun. Wow. I feel like a little kid right now. I know. I want to go just for this. <laughs> no, you're yelling. <laughs> Forget about the shopping right now. I know, right? I might change my mind later, but wow. And what of you? Holy crap! This is so cool. Uh huh. Okay. I feel like I'm there. Yeah. Feel free to walk around. Watch this episode on your TVs. All these point out what you can see in front of you. It's amazing to think that we're actually in the chimney right now. An iconic chimney. In an elevator well. in a chimney. A glass elevator. What's going on over there? You see the Docklands in the distance. The Tower of London. The Shard over there. And of course, the River Thames, which looks beautiful today. Mm -hmm. well, so we are 109 meters in the air, which is pretty much the same height as the London Eye. But if you think the logistics that they had to do to just put this lift in this tower and how much it cost. So from the top here, you can actually... It's 357 feet. Wow. Yeah. They see down into down. how it's done the shopping centre and how they've literally transformed it. There's like gardens down there. What well, looks like some VIP areas. Sorry, I had the wrong button. <laughs> but that. Look at that. I'm glad I hit the wrong button. I know. I'm glad Whoa. you stopped right here. I didn't mean to. I wonder if that's like. Maybe he'll tell us. Outside the mall? Yeah. Or is it yeah, like, like he said gardens? Let me rewind it just a little bit. Luxury apartment seeing things. That's really neat. Literally transformed it. There's like gardens down there. What looks like some VIP areas going along the top. Can you see that? And the two other chimneys. And now we're about to go. That thing's down. crazy looking, man. Oh. Wow. So here you come out and you scan your QR code of your ticket. Okay. If you screw it up, it won't work. What's it do? <laughs> oh, this is oh, just well. for... Wait, this is photos? an awful photo yeah. anyway. So you can get mugs, postcards, sure, that's pencils, very expensive. diaries. Well, for £15, if you book in advance or if you pay on the day, it's a little bit more expensive. I thought that was a great experience. You get a really mm -hmm. different perspective of the London skyline from this side of the Thames. But the fact that you're actually in a piece of history, who would have thought that you could actually go up into one of the old chimneys at Battersea Power Station? That was an amazing experience. I was just going to say, just for the experience so, alone, I'd pay the price. Yeah. I was just wondering if that's like £15 per person, I'm guessing. Yeah, he, his, his woman wasn't with him. You know oh, that's true. I didn't... Mm -hmm. I just realized that. Yeah. We're starting from the lower ground floor and we're going to work our way up to the ground floor and then the upper two floors. So the way this is designed is that you've got the central bit of the power station and then you've got the turbine rooms, which is obviously one over that side and another one over there. You get a better perspective from up above. Have you seen any shops yet that you're interested in, Gabby? Well, all of them, of course. <laughs> one of the main <laughs> oh, cool. It's a reactor. Now, whether or not this was in the original spot, I'm not sure. Right now. Very romantic spot to have tea. In fact, actually, it's not tea, Gabby. It's um, a champagne bar. Look at these little lights here. You can have a, a champagne cocktail or two. Art Deco lights. So They're as you cool. come in the main entrance, you literally just come down the stairs. Okay. But the new and the old, I love that kind of art. Exactly. Absolutely. That's what we've been saying. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been into a shopping centre this clean. Wow, look at this. So there's still some shops to arrive. 
This has been open since October. I love their Christmas decorations. And you're not seeing things. There's an actual car. I was up just there gonna ask in that oh, box. Yeah. I thought that was a TV screen. Can you see that? I can see it. You sure? There's a car up there. Oh, it is. We'll get a better view on the second level. It's a Genesis. <laughs> I don't yeah. think so. Competition. Competition to win this car. I mean, that's just crazy. It's a cute car. We had those in our. We used to have those in our malls, remember? Mm -hmm. Cars and you get competitions. It's a nice car fully electric. Never heard of that brand before. Genesis. So I'm not a big fan of shopping centers, but Range of Hyundai. this is really impressive, isn't it? Very. Your eyes don't know where to look. I know, you do feel like your eyes are constantly wandering. You're like, oh, wow. Yeah, I'm trying to look at your stores. <laughs> I got a Genesis cool. store inside. There you go. Yeah, this is a, a shop that sells cars inside a shopping center. That's unusual. And they're car doors, yeah. Can you drive it home? <laughs> How much are one of these going to set you back? Uh, about 70 grand. 75,000 pounds, that's not bad. I've looked them up. <laughs> oh, these are cool, have the you seen cameras. these? No. Yeah. I've looked these up before. That is a nice car. It smells like you're in a posh hotel. It mm. smells really nice. If you can't afford one of the cars, you might be able to afford a car door. <laughs> 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 Where can they do that? They say, look, if you can't afford that, Get the door. I'll tell you what, you can buy one of those and feel like you own one. <laughs> I've noticed there's a lot of pianos in here randomly as well. So this is pretty special. Outside in, you're inside, but it feels like you're outside because obviously this yep. big open space, it actually feels a little bit cooler here than it did over there. Busy. So Gordon Ramsay has a restaurant in here, of it is. which we're going to check out in a moment. Place? A lot of these shops for me are very posh. That are the same there's one. another car shop. There's another one. What is it with car shops in here? I don't know, but they have a lot of like jewelry shops as well. Like Ooh, Rolex. Ones, like Rolex, for example. Mm. Yeah, look at that. Look at that man. He's so oh, happy to welcome you in. <laughs> How much? Oh, exhibition only, not telling you the, the price prices. He looks very happy <laughs> to welcome you in to spend thousands of pounds. So look at the back end of the power station here. They have a really um, posh mark dispensers out there. A posh one? Well, Aren't the Marks and Spencer's all posh for us people that can't afford it? So we're now on the upper ground. We're just saying the music is being pumped in at the moment by little, what are they called? But little bow speakers. And Gabby yeah. actually uses these to sing. <laughs> Good to know they've got a Starbucks. Mm. Pret a manger. So I would say it's probably 90% occupied of shops nice. in here. And even Starbucks has the Battersea Power Station theme. Oh, that's cool. We're out with the fans. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. So we're in Turbine Hall yeah, that's A yeah. at the moment. I'm noticing what's going I think you get a much better perspective, though, when you go up to the, the third level. It actually smells really nice in here mm. as well. It does. So you can see there's still a few shops that Show me the ones are, that are empty there. at the minute <laughs> where the pancakes are. Oh, Never we don't have that, that before, one. but I'm interested in pancakes. I'm interested so in pancakes. So Gordon Ramsay has a restaurant yes. here. I thought it was like Sesame Street. Street. <laughs> I wonder if he was here to open it. Probably. Oh, what they they got? Opening. Ooh. That is the menu. Thank How you. How much would you pay for some... Sorry, I can barely see they that. Roasted cod, looks like... 20... 20 or 28? Roast. Okay. 28 pounds, so... This is still very cheap compared to what we pay here. Mm -hmm. Like, really cheap. Fish and chips, 22 pounds is about what we would pay. T-bone for 19. What? You wouldn't know here. That would be what? 36. Double that? At least. At least, you're Minimum. right. But, so, ooh, interesting. Sorry. Sorry. Roasted cod in Gordon Ramsay's restaurant, 28 pounds. Wow. Fish and chips, 22 pounds. Yeah, burger, right. 21.50. That's about what we pay. Beer from the coast. Mm -hmm. That's expensive. It's not expensive here, it's standard, unfortunately. So it says they've got a cinema up here. Oh, cool. Wow. Whether that's here yet, or I can't see any signs for it. One of our malls does have one of those. Mm -hmm. One. In... So you've got Turbine well, it still Hall does A that. and Turbine Hall B. I, I think Turbine Hall B, for me, is my favorite. Look at this, from up here. That's the car thing? That's the car thing. That is amazing. On the bottom. And attention to detail, how it's all been fully restored. Yeah, that's Look. cool. Oh, yeah, sorry, that Richard, sorry. Or something. There's even the old clock up there. You can see all the steel girders there. I love that. Yeah. That are rusting away. 
I'm sure about those. And you would probably think no, health and safety. No, that. <laughs> the size of that hanging down. Yeah, that freaked me out. I wouldn't walk under it. I'm sure they've replaced the wires up there, mm -hmm. so they're not going to fall down still, anytime soon. Still, don't want to walk under it. It's a pretty strong roof though, because it can hold a car. That's really awesome. Yep. So they're using it for something. And these Christmas lights, they're pretty special. Cool. I'd love these in my house or in, in my your garden. house. You have a big house. All <laughs> right. Okay, so I want to Classy. show you this cafe stroke bar uh. called the control room and some of the original controls from Battersea Power Station. And then we're, we're actually in we're there. Like lab so have a look around. Oh, you just walk around here? No. The only rule we have is don't touch anything. Okay. This gets cooler and cooler. Don't touch anything. I don't trust people enough. I know. In the original <laughs> place where they've moved it, but look at this. Not allowed to touch anything. I'd be touching everything. <laughs> you would be touching everything. I wonder if anyone watching this ever worked at Battersea Power Station and maybe worked controlling all of these. Yeah, yes. if anyone's watching our thing right now and you've worked with here, uh -huh. let us know. This is so fascinatingly awesome and I, we're going here. We have to go oh, here. Oh, yeah. I mean, this place is so cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Who would have thought that it would now be a restaurant that is one cool bar. bar. It smells really nice. You keep saying that. <laughs> some kind of fragrance. I want to know what it smells yeah. like now. It's not very busy though. Let's just have a walk up to the cinema. I'm not sure if it's open yet. I think it is open. Wow, look at this. Oh, you a just massive keep going up. bird's eye view from up here. What a very understated entrance to a cinema. Yeah, it is. Yeah. How many screens have they got? Let's go ask. Hiya. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, how many screens have you got? We've got two screens. Two. So this cinema hmm. will have a private members club hmm. where you can go and have a drink and a, a meal before you go and see a show, before you go and see a film. What a great idea. And if I go this time of day, it's £12. That's not bad. No big popcorn machines here. You know how we feel about that. All very posh. Take a bottle of wine in there. Okay. Not many shopping centres have sofas. So leaving the power station behind. So this whole area on the south side of the power station has been completely oh, transformed wow. into what it was 10 years ago. And these Before he says, how cool are those buildings? I know. The architecture of those buildings is just so cool. <laughs> those are neat. It's been completely transformed into what it was 10 years ago. And these buildings look like they're spinning. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. Interesting view they have though of the power station. They are pretty close to it. If you think about yeah. it, looking out the window onto just like a solid brick wall. I'm not sure I feel about that. So this is where we are now. Okay. And uh, the Electric Boulevard oh. is all down here. There's also Prospect Park, which has also been sorted out. They've also got the Power Station Park, um, which is obviously the main entrance where we came into. So we're just behind right. it now. Mm -hmm. um, it depends which you think is the main entrance. I would have said the north entrance is the main entrance, but uh, this is the most southernliest entrance to the Power Station. Look at those. So there is a hotel Whoa. on this side. Hotel. hotel. The building work is still going on, but a lot of these places are now filled. There's a Zara down there. This area is called Electric Boulevard. Mm. Obviously staying in the theme of the power station. It's quite a nice area. I'm loving this There's place. no shops on yes. the right hand side, just on the left hand side is occupied by Zara. But just look at this. That's beautiful. Oh, wow. But at night that is absolutely it's stunning. So different. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Who would have thought this would be a massive <laughs> area for shopping, eating, restaurants, it's great because this part of London, as many Londoners will know, is not the best area at all. The shadow of the power station looks amazing. Yeah, it does. So this will continue all the way around here. So you would have thought they would have opened it all together, but they've obviously opened it up in phases. That make money. Yeah. So this part of Electric Avenue is going to continue with even more. <laughs> he said Electric Avenue this whole time. The song comes in. I've been, it's been in my head the whole time. And I'm like, yeah. that's not what he said. But he had this, I knew he was going to, someone, but it's funny he said it. It's just funny. Yeah. It's like, how could you not? Exactly. What was it actually called? Electric Boulevard, I think. I think so. In my head, I'm hearing 
Mm-hmm. I can't for copyright yeah, reasons because my voice is so good <laughs> that YouTube will flag it as mm-hmm. the song if I Let's try to go sing down it for you. To Electric Avenue. <laughs> it's been in my head since they shared the name, and then he said it. <gasps> Sorry. So this part of Electric Avenue is going to continue with even more hotels wow. and apartments. In fact, you can see that building there. That looks amazing. Oh, nice. Huge 50 too. Electric Boulevard. That looks insane. I want that to address. address. So we're just right. around the back of the power station and we've just noticed <laughs> that there looks like there's apartments over this side. Oh yeah. Even though, oh yes, I'll they are apartments. Oh, yeah, it's good. Yeah, because yeah, I know it's like, there's like a clothesline in a window and you go further across and you've got Someone's randomly Christmas some Christmas lights and then you go further down, you've got someone's sofa. I'm not seeing I'm, that. I guess they're trying to make this area look like the old wasteland, how it used to be. But yeah, it's called Switch House, Gabby, that's what it's huh. called. In fact, if you look right at the top, yeah, the penthouse. Yeah, it's seat. Sweets, maybe. Nice. Anybody yeah. seeing naked people in there? <laughs> We're all curtain twitchers right now. Curtain What's twitchers. Going on up there? Curtain twitchers. <laughs> okay, I don't see any naked people. It's safe. Oh. Okay. My language. What's crazy is that they look pretty much all occupied. Mm -hmm. And I bet you they're not cheap, are they? I, think it was like I, a... I would really be curious to know how much they cost. I don't want to know. I'll do tell. <laughs> yeah, to live in a mall stroke power station. What's really interesting, we didn't see a Boots, we didn't see a Super Drug. We didn't see a New Look, and we didn't see a River Island. Yeah, all the shops in there. Well, not all of the shops. We don't have any of those, do we? Shops. Any of the places he just mentioned, I don't think we have no, any of those places. I no. don't know what they are. I know, I, I can't remember what Boots is. That was in Fleabag, remember? There's a store, that's all I can remember. Yeah, I don't remember. You'll remind me, I'm sure. A kind of high-end shop. Like for us personally, we only went into Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> but it was great to walk around. Things are quite expensive in there. Yeah, but we it's amazing what they've done with Battersea Power Station. It's been talked about for decades. And the fact that it's, I would say, 90% finished. Mm. There's not all shops that have been taken up in there. That's right. It would be interesting to know what it's going to be like this time next year. Yeah. So it's good that we're putting <clears throat> this vlog out now so that we can compare. Yeah. I mean, it's a whole community around it. You can live, you can work, you can shop, you can eat. It's an amazing space. I felt it was lacking that little bit of atmosphere. I think because it was so high end, but it was absolutely mm -hmm. immaculate and very prestige. And it smelled really nice in there. You know, like when you, <laughs> if you've ever walked into a show home when it smells brand new, that's how nice it smells in there. I hope that they never put any signage on the power station. I don't think they will. I think they'll keep yeah. it as it is because it's so understated yeah. from the south and the north entrance. It still looks like you're walking into an old power station rather than a shopping mall. Exactly. And I hope they keep it like that. Do give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit subscribe. And I didn't expect that. That was pretty awesome. I love the whole concept of taking an old building like that, revamping it and putting it into something useful. Yeah. And the inside's all quite modern looking, but still has that touch of um, the original building there. And I'm just now seeing the description of that video we just watched. It's been mm -hmm. over, it's been 40 years in the process. Wow. That's my lifetime. That is. I'm 41 years old, so. I can't believe they thought to start doing that way back then. Wow. That's crazy. I wonder what all went into that. Um, a lot of work, that much I know. That was amazing. Uh -huh. That was an experience. Um, the mall itself was the least exciting part to me though. The, the shopping, shopping things. Part. I'm like, yeah. yeah, I'm not a big shopper. That's that's Debbie's job. <laughs> um, I just walk behind her and moan the whole time. I'm like, eh, mm -hmm. we done. Did you find your shoes yet? I'll be in the car. Give me the keys. <laughs> um, but I don't really care about that part. But seeing like the architecture inside, the old stuff, yes. like you said, um, I, I would like to go just to look around at things like that. Mm -hmm. Going up. Um, that museum part was just mind blowing. We're calling it a museum part. I, that's what I'm gonna call it. <laughs> That's fine. I think that's it what is. it was. I think um, it was. And, yeah. and going up that tube, I'll call it, we're going on the tube. Lift. But we're going up. It's a lift. Um, that was so cool. And how the elevator just became the observation deck. I mean, that's amazing. That I didn't expect. I um, know. Everything about that I didn't expect. I, I, $9 billion for one. And the, yeah. the apartments, I wish we could see inside. I, I'll see if I we know. can find a video. I'll try. I was I'll just see if there that. are. I'll see if there are any videos, the hotel too. I think because of this video, I want to now start seeing more of places to go, mm -hmm. like other places. Like there are plenty of um, like Herod's, you know, I've yeah. always heard about that growing up. Mm -hmm. I would like to see that. I know he has a video on that. I know he does because I, well, I, I saw it pop up at the end of this yeah. one. Um, and um, some other different places, like we've heard of Marks and Spencer's. 
I know nothing about that place except for the name of it. Mm -hmm. um, but I really enjoyed this video. If you guys did too, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already done so. And if you haven't, why not? I mean, come on, this was awesome. Um, you wanna know why I wanna go? He talked about how good it smelled the whole video. <laughs> well, you buy the time. I need to go so I can smell it for myself <laughs> to see if it actually smells that good. I was just gonna say what he said at the third time, like give it six months. <laughs> <laughs> you probably do pump something in. I know at Las Vegas, the hotels out there, they're pumping all kinds of fresh smells in there to keep you in there. Keep you awake. Yep. Sometimes when you sit down to do a video, you're not, you, you kind of have an idea what you might see. Yeah. We had no idea here and really. I had no idea where we we're going to learn all this. And just and, and enjoy away. it. It was so enjoyable. So again, hope you enjoyed it too. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, we appreciate you. And um, we will see you next time. Until then, please, as Again, love like jazz. Be as strong as Tyson. Bye, guys. Bye.